I hope you like me tonight. If you do, my name is Wayne Fleming. If you don't, my name is Howard Nimitz. He's known as the man who perfected stand-up comedy, as Jim Carrey's good friend and the man of a thousand faces. What? You're not filming me. You should have the camera on her. Hi, I'm Veronica with WatchMojo.com, and today we're chatting with the legendary comedian Wayne Fleming. Ready? Sorry, no. No? <laughs> yeah, I am. How do you take your coffee? Crisp. So you've been doing comedy for over 35 years. How have you seen the industry change since then? There are certain things that haven't changed. The business part of it has never changed. Freedom of speech is getting better. I don't care if you're gay. I don't care if you go in the back door or the front door. As long as you get in the house, who cares? I don't really think there's anything new left. I really don't. It's all been explored, you know? I just talk about my life. Because my life is a joke. <laughs> Side effect from Viagra, if you take one, a little bit of heartburn. Two, insomnia. You got such a huge erection, you don't have enough skin left to close your eyes. You're like, <laughs> as well as stand-up comedy, you've acted in movies like Fever Pitch and Cinderella Man. As well as stand -up, I can't as well as stand-up comedy, you've been in films like Cinderella Man and Fever Pitch where you actually are acting and taking on a character. But when you're doing stand-up, are we seeing the real Wayne Fleming? I love you. <laughs> you're grounded, go to my room. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. Unless I'm doing a character, why should I be any different up there than here? I want them to see me at the beginning of the show, and at the end of the show, they go, hey, I know him. No, if I don't have a microphone in my hand, I'm like, Hey! You were actually the first comedian to go on at the first Just for Laughs festival. Can you tell us about that experience? All the comedians drew numbers. I got number four. That's the sweet spot. Norm MacDonald got number one. A very well-known comedian. And I said to Norm, I went, tell you what, dude, I'll trade you. And he goes, well, why? And I go, because you're going to pass me, trust me. In the next couple of years, you'll be way past me. And so I took because I want it to be the first. That in itself is a great accomplishment, but is it your best memory so far? The most memorable night was at the Old Comedy Nest. It was my birthday. Two comedian friends of mine, Jim Carrey and uh, Frenchie McFarlane. Frenchie's originally from Montreal. I'll pick up these names that I'm dropping on the floor here later. Okay. I got an encore that night, and they came in on the train to see me for my birthday. And I said to the crowd, I said, can I do what I want to do? Can I do anything I want to do? And they said, yeah. And at this point, people didn't really know who Jim was. So I said, I want to introduce you to somebody. And I brought him up on stage and said, I want you to meet Jim Carrey. Well, I guess we're going to have ourselves a nuclear holocaust. <laughs> he did a rendition of Jimmy Stewart. He brought a tear to everyone's eye in the room. Hi, Mr. Duckett. You look like you could use some soap. Everybody was just like, oh. And that was kind of cool. Now, your relationship with Jim Carrey, I think, is a great example of a good friendship. How do you two people who are so busy and high profile still stay so close together? He's a true friend. He's like a brother. And that's why when people ask me if he's changed, I go, well, no. And they go, how do you know? And I go, because I'm still his best friend. If people want to check out your stuff online, where can they go? Nowhere. No. Oh, I guess they could, yeah. So what do you do? Just Google my name? Yeah. And up comes a stupid looking picture? Yeah? Okay. Well, thank you very much. Don't ever bug me again. Just get away from me. And you too with that light. I hate your guts, mister. <laughs>